Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda Lee, and I just woke up to kick ass, kick absolute ass today. It's Thursday. If you're new here, I work in human resources. I do work from home in recruitment. So today I've got a lot of interviews to conduct. I talk to a lot of candidates in a day, and I'm going to show you guys what a hella busy day in my life, to put it frankly, sounds like and looks like. So let's get started. First, I'm about to go ahead and get changed. So this is the outfit. We've got the cute blue tank and then we're just gonna rock some sweatpants. Now I'm gonna dive into my morning skincare routine. Fun fact, I have an English Bulldog puppy and he'll probably be awake by the end of this routine. And he also has a morning skincare routine. So just gonna go ahead and, I guess I say skincare, but when I write this out in my planner, I like to write morning self-care because I'm brushing my teeth, I'm using mouthwash, applying deodorant, just general tasks that are taking care of myself that go beyond doing my skincare. So let's just dive straight into it. I'm about to hop into my first meeting of 20 for the day. Well, my first interview, let me correct myself, of 20. So I am interviewing 20 candidates today, both for about 15 minutes each at max. And then I have a team meeting, so that's 21. And then I also have, I think I have one more meeting. Let me check my calendar, I might be wrong. Oh yes, I have a company-wide meeting today. So that's exciting things going on. It's 22 meetings in the day. so. Talk about a fast-paced day. Also, a little fun fact, the night before every day, every work day especially, I go in and I write down all of my meetings, my to-do list personally for the day, and then my team meeting to-do list. So I just feel super put together and ready to dive straight into my work day. So we're gonna start all the way up here. I've already waking up, changed, no morning self-care. And now it's time to conduct our interviews. So I guess the first candidate of the day is actually gonna be a learning candidate. Um, this is a no-show. So a candidate has set up an interview with me right on the dot, 8 a.m. And it looks like they're just not showing up. So I'm gonna attempt to contact them three different times through text, through a couple of calls. We're gonna see if they show up, but if not, it's totally okay because Bullseye is whining, so he might need to go pee. <laughs> so I don't mind it, but at the same time, does it reflect poorly on the candidate themselves? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I eat his breakfast. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get all of the ingredients out for my breakfast, but I have a meeting in like five minutes. So I'm gonna leave the ingredients out and then in the five to 10 minute gap between my next two meetings, I'm gonna put it all in the pan and then it'll be cooking while I'm in the meeting. So plus my kitchen's right there and I'm conducting my interviews right in here. So it's safe. I can see everything cooking and leave it there to cook. I 
I am about to crack my eggs into this pan. It's already got the potatoes and onions and peppers and then the spinach and minced garlic. So I'm just gonna crack these eggs in there. You guys, oh my gosh. So those past two meetings, I'm three out of 20 for the day, right? As far as interviews go. So the first three that I had this morning, the first one was a no-show. Second one, we got halfway through that meeting. We had to reschedule. There was a lot of pauses and then her internet went out and she said, oh my gosh, my wife works from home. So uh, this shouldn't be happening to me. I was like, girl, it's totally okay. Let's reschedule to give you the best opportunity. So the first was a no-show. Second interview of the day was a reschedule. And then the third interview, I just got done fully conducting. So now time to crack two eggs into my breakfast pan because the pan is hot and my spinach and potatoes and peppers and all that jazz are now hot as well. I like to wilt down the spinach. I know it probably has more nutritional value. Heads up, I'm not a nutritionist. I'll show you guys what I eat in a day and I'm not kind of any dietitian. I am not a registered dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist, but I will show you all of the delicious, yummy things that I do eat in a day. Um, starting with this scramble, but I like to wilt down the spinach and then once it's all kind of said and done, I'll throw the eggs in there and it cooks for maybe three to five minutes on a low to medium heat. If you have a stove like mine and their numbers, I make sure that mine is on like no higher than two, if that tells you anything. Again, I also am not over here hovering, making sure that everything's okay. I'm right over here making sure that my candidate's doing well while this cooks on its alone. So, so go through these way and then I'm going to add some salt and cover this. I also add just a tiny bit of water. This is actually a little cup from the egg maker I was gifted by my best friend because I love eggs. Um, but I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of water into this as well so it steams up. I do not like any kind of ready eggs, they scare me. So I like over hard eggs and I like the yolk to be completely cooked through. So if it's not hard boiled, then I'm putting this water in there so it steams and it'll cook from the top as well. I'm already finding myself in this just Oh, hyperactive mindset and I need to make sure that I take some deep breaths and just really make sure I show up for myself too and protect my own peace. So when I am my most peaceful and confident self, I tend to have the best interviews. So I'm going to remember that. Um, as if my <laughs> friend Madison would say, putting our shoulders back, bitch, and we're just going to stand tall for a good 30 seconds. <sighs> and then it's time for the next interview. <laughs> that candidate who was scheduled for 9 a.m. didn't hop on and I gave them, I, you know, I tried to contact them. They did get in contact with me and let me know like, hey, will you resend me the Zoom link? I'll be hopping on soon. And they hopped on way too late to even get through the meeting. Again, I have 20 interviews to conduct today. And if you're late, you're going to have to reschedule, especially if you're more than just about 10 minutes late, let's be honest. So. That being said, in that time, breakfast is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and top this with red pepper flakes, half an avocado, and oh my gosh, by the way, look how big this avocado is, you guys. Absolutely humongous. But I'm gonna top this red, or yeah, red chili flakes, half an avocado, and then probably some hot sauce, because you just can't go wrong with topping a good breakfast scramble with some hot sauce, okay? but. I'm gonna challenge you really quickly to see a chug of water and take a chug of water. My goal is to refill this three times today because if I have four of these, then that's a gallon of water in the day. So, cheers. All right guys, so it is currently 10, 12. I just wrapped up my 10 a.m. meeting and I've had my breakfast. I'm about to take Bullseye out because he needs to go out again, but I'm gonna hop into my first meeting with work for the day. So right now I've been interviewing candidates, talking to strangers. Now I'm gonna hop into my team meeting with all of my coworkers who are out there doing the exact same thing. Let's go walk Bullseye. I'm probably gonna 
refill my water, you guys. One water down, one out of four. So let's keep going. He has a leash, I swear. <laughs> you guys it is almost noon I've got about five minutes but noon is bullseye's lunchtime bullseye waits for nobody candidates included <laughs> so while I have this little gap I'm gonna go ahead and make his lunch and then hop right back into my meeting I have full control over when my lunch break is so I told him the hour I wanted and I actually wanted it a little bit later in my day so my lunch is from 155 to 255 so basically 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And oh my gosh, that makes my day go by so fast at the very end, especially on long days like these. I really appreciate that I did that for myself. So we're still in the long haul. I might get out the ingredients for my lunch like I did earlier, but right now it's just time to feed the beast. I am here in a meeting I'm supposed to be in right at noon. It is 12.06. I had just gone off the phone with my candidate and I have so clearly just woken this person up. Oh my gosh. I Maybe they had a late night. I don't know their life. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they worked that third shift, but I just know that they're not here for our interview and we're probably going to have to reschedule. So don't be that person. Schedule interviews at a time that you can actually make it to. I've got maybe eight minutes and I'm gonna show you guys my recipe for the little collagen protein coffee I make. So I use a vital protein collagen powder and it's actually got 18 grams of protein per serving. So it's very exciting. I posted a video on TikTok, I think, and I was like, you know, you're doing well whenever it's time to switch out the protein or something. And then somebody had commented, not this not being protein and actually being collagen and like a face palm. And I was like, oh! and then I checked and no, it actually has 18 grams of protein in it. So it is protein and it's also collagen and it's unflavored. I'll just show you guys how I make my protein coffee. I didn't get to finish my coffee earlier as you can see, but, but I am going to let that hot espresso shot that melted my collagen powder sit out until it's a little bit cooler. And then the rest of my espresso shots, I'm going to be doing over ice as it comes out of the machine. So then pour it into the mason jar, it's cooler, and then I'll put ice on it and we'll just melt all the ice and it won't be super watery. So, well, obviously it'll melt ice as it's going in there, but say lobby. So right now it's 1230 again. I've got 10 minutes until my next meeting at 1240. So I'm going to use those 10 minutes to take bullseye out and continue letting that espresso shot cool. I suppose it's almost like torture. I'm like looking over my shoulder and I know there's espresso right here. Ah, so close yet so far. You guys, I feel terrible. We went outside. Bullseye is just at I think, 15 weeks today. So you're 15. Yeah, 15. So at 15 weeks old, he still has one more round of vaccinations in his puppy series of shots. Yes, you do. 
So that being said, we went outside. I'll put you down, sir. I'll put you down. We went outside and all of the dogs from the complex, the local dogs are out there using the bathroom and such. I scoop him back up and come back inside because we just cannot risk it. And he gets so distracted because I'm on such a tight knit schedule today. He, we really don't have time to do anything other than walk outside, walk around, make sure he uses the bathroom, play a tad bit and then come back inside. So if there's two, three dogs outside, this little pupper is not gonna miss the opportunity to play. I'm just gonna wait for probably my next meeting and I have one more after that until my total company-wide meeting. So that meeting is cameras off, We're really just getting information on company updates, things that you would announce to companies and your entire staff. So I'm going to attend that probably on my AirPods and on my phone. And while that's happening, we'll take a break and go outside and finish up making that espresso. It is almost 1 p.m. That's when that company-wide meeting is. I just finished up my interview, my last interview before that meeting. And with a few more minutes left, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take Bullseye outside so that during this next meeting, I can actually go ahead, cook my lunch. And then I've quite literally only got maybe one interview in between that meeting and my lunch break. So that being said, I'm gonna take out Bullseye and then hop into that company meeting. to finish making up my coffee, get some awesome notes for our executive team, and I was able to kickstart my lunch. I have 20 more minutes until my interview at 1.40 p.m. So after that interview, it will be my lunch break, and during that company-wide meeting, I went ahead and started cooking my rice. <laughs> yes, this lid is too big. It is what it is. It does the job. So I was able to kickstart my lunch, and now I'm gonna be able to go straight into the lunch break after my next interview, and just eat my food for the next 20 minutes cleaning up my space. I have spent the entire morning here in the living room. I like doing a morning work here in the living room because the sunshine comes in this way. And then midway through the day, my boyfriend goes to work and I go into the bedroom where I have this beautiful iMac desktop. I just finished up that interview. I am on lunch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm on lunch. I feel like I'm a little dance party. I'm going to put on a nice little playlist here on my TV, continue cleaning up. I have been sipping on my coffee and I feel so awake and excited. So after my lunch break, I will have six candidates to interview and then I will be done for the day after completing my end of day tasks. Literally just reporting my numbers, pressing a few buttons. <laughs> the work from home life, am I right? And after work, I will be doing a homework workout and I'll FaceTime a friend for that. So it's just gonna be so fun. I'll show you guys what I do, but right now we are about to put on a playlist and start cleaning up. to fill up Bullseye's Kong because this dude is nibbling on my toes. I have cleaned up the bedroom, my workspace. I have done some laundry. And after I give him this treat, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some lunch. 
And after I make myself some lunch, I think I'm honestly gonna go ahead and try to do the dishes. This is going to be my third cup of this water for the day. Three out of four. One more after this. I'm out here taking pictures of my lunch and I almost don't even want to go inside. <laughs> the sunshine feels so nice. And it's keeping my lunch warm and hot while I'm taking pictures of it. So. It's just such a nice little peaceful moment right now. Here's your reminder to just take a deep breath. Take the tongue from the top of your mouth, drop your shoulders, put your chest high, and breathe. If you can go out to some sunshine right now, totally do it. It was supposed to rain today, you guys. I was fully prepared for a rainy day vibe. I'll take it. You got me, you got me. Okay, so I didn't do the dishes during my lunch break because I got stuck in a TikTok slash Instagram real spiral. I got stuck into the void, but I'm acknowledging it now. And because I'm acknowledging it now, that means that I can really make sure that I stop myself when I catch myself scrolling. And not that scrolling for especially content creators is a super bad thing to do, but I find myself comparing myself to other people so frequently when I scroll. Let me know if you guys relate to, but I'm sure you guys have been there at least once or twice where you're seeing somebody's uh, content or what somebody's posting, you're like, ah, even though I understand it's just the highlights of their life, I feel envious and you start comparing yourself. I've been there and I start doing that. So to avoid doing that, I'm gonna stop myself when I'm scrolling. If I'm not sharing content or sharing things with you guys or close friends through social media, then I'm gonna stop myself from scrolling and continue on what I'm doing outside of social media. I've acknowledged it, which means I can take action. I can take action. So I've taken action. I put my phone down and I realized I had been scrolling. I wasn't too hard on myself. And now we're brushing out our hair and we're going to hop into the next meeting of the day. I'm gonna do my dishes right after we get off work. Again, not being too hard on myself because practice makes perfect and that comes with good habits as well. Oh, also, speaking of good habits, see a chug, take a chug, you guys, cheers. Oh, and right now I just put some oil on my hair because you're never supposed to brush your hair dry and I brushed my hair out before my next round of interviews. So, cheers to the last, or excuse me, the last six candidates of the day. Boom, go get some water, please. This is seriously a reminder. We could all use some more. Cheers. All right, you guys, my work day is done. The last candidate of the day did not show. So out of the 22 meetings we've had today, one being a team meeting and another being a company-wide meeting, of the 20 interviews that I've conducted, I spoke to 15 out of 20 candidates that scheduled interviews today. So I had three reschedules, so three of them are back on my calendar for another day. And then I also had two just not show up. Thank you so much if this is as far as you're watching. You definitely don't have to stick around too much for the rest of my evening, but it's gonna be a productive one. So I have got a good 20 to 30 minutes until I was planning to start working out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish up my coffee. I'm also going to finish up my water and I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes.
Okay, so I have done all the dishes. All of the dishes are done. I am letting them sit out to dry. I'm about to hop into my home workout with my friend. And, oh my gosh, it's time to feed the beast. It is Bullseye's dinner time. So I'm gonna get his dinner ready. And once he's eating dinner, then I'm gonna FaceTime my friend and get going on my workout. So let's get it. I think today's an upper body day, so it's gonna be awesome. showered I have eaten dinner my tummy is full now I'm gonna get to doing some laundry because bullseye may or may not have forced me to wash our sheets and blanket today uh, I'm not gonna elaborate any further Enjoying the warmth of the quilt that we use for our bed topper. My mom made it actually. While my boyfriend, the saint that he is, puts on the sheets for our bed and our pillowcases. So also, do you guys see this? Mm. Mm. Very sad. I'm just sitting here in this freshly dried, warm blanket, trying not to fall asleep. 